Okay, so when we're talking some like the best pistols in the game and stuff like that, obviously, you know, people love their light shows and stuff like that. I personally have always been a huge fan of the Beacon. I've loved the Beacon ever since it was introduced in the uh, DLC 3 Bounty of Blood almost a year ago now. However, with the release of DLC 6, there was a new challenge uh, approaching, and that's going to be obviously none other than the, the Free Radical. Honestly, at face value, you look at the weapons and you look at the card. The Free Radicals, honestly, it just feels like an upgraded version of the Beacon. Uh, and the reason why is, you know, the Beacon is pushing a year old, and when the Free Radical came out along with DLC 6, it did drop uh, around, you know, basically 10 months after the uh, Beacon had been introduced into the game. Obviously, you know, we had level 65 by then, and it was just newer DLC, newer content. So, you know, you know, just seeing, we're used to seeing, you know, higher and higher damage on, you know, weapon cards and stuff like that from newer weapons. Now, at the time when the Beacon came out, obviously the Beacon was very, very amazing. Uh, it was basically a better version of the Hellshock, which is a vanilla Malamon pistol that's very similar, right? Now, the difference between, like, the main perks for the Beacon and the Free Radical is that uh, the Beacon, unfortunately, its main perk is about reloading, which, uh, personally for me, I like to use the Blastmaster as much as I can whenever I play Moe's. Uh, so that's totally counterintuitive with the Blastmaster or even a green monster for that matter um, The Nova it's it does a decent amount of damage, but it's never been something that I've been like overly like impressed by Honestly, what I was impressed by was just like how hard like how hard this thing and just how much like raw damage that the beacon possessed however Nowadays we have something called the free radical and the free radical shoots homing uh, homing rockets uh, on target, like, you, like it just it shoots homing uh, missiles, which is honest, which is totally not counterintuitive with the blast master because those uh, rockets will get uh, amp, uh, will get extra damage uh, from the blast master because it's splash damage, obviously. Free radical also has a higher magazine size. Uh, the free radical also has a higher base damage on the card. If we're looking at the two uh, the, the, the two uh, weapons that I'm using here, right, the beacon's damage is at just shy at of 20,000 times 2 at 19,444 times 2 and then our free radical is at a whopping 30,371 times 2 a solid 33% increase uh just on the base damage of the card but not only that uh the free radical also gets 165% extra weapon damage on the card as well uh, where our beacon doesn't have any extra weapon damage on the card. They're both set kits, uh, but just even just looking at the card, right, you're seeing that the free radical kind of has this thing beat. Now, for a long time, a lot of people were telling me that the light show is the infinitely better pistol. Well, not infinitely better, but the better pistol out of the beacon and the light show. And I always pushed back against it. I was a huge fan of the beacon. I just liked the beacon. And for so long, you know, I felt like there was something that could match it, especially as like a Malawan pistol. You know, it's different when you're comparing like, you know, you know, the light show and the beacon, because like the light show, it functions, you know, differently. Uh, it's a spread pistol. It's not, it's a Vladov pistol, you know, it has a bigger magazine size, it's, you know, this is a Malawan pistol, they're both Malawan pistols, right, which is why I feel a bit more comfortable comparing these, you know what I'm saying? You have the, the Beacon, Free Radical, and even the Hellshock, these are, these three weapons, seems like they have just, like, been upgraded to each other, right, you had the Hellshock come out uh, with the base game, you, then you had the Beacon come out with DLC 3, which is about nine months after the release of the game. And then you had the release of the Free Radical, which released 10 months after DLC 3. I mean, so let's see if everything is going correctly here. Maybe January or February of 2022, we'll get another insanely busted Malawan pistol that sits at like, I don't know, 43K times two or some shit on the card and like 215% weapon damage. I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out there. Um, for the most part, uh, for the Free Radical, we're always using the Blastmaster. Uh, it just has a bigger magazine size, so it's easier to run a Blastmaster than with the Beacon. Uh, the Beacon sits at a magazine size of 20, and the Free Radical sits at a magazine size of 30, right? So obviously the Blastmaster is going to be a little bit better here. Plus, the perk on the Free Radical isn't counterintuitive with the Blastmaster like the Beacon is. So for most of the Beacon gameplay, uh, we are actually using a Minesweeper here. I did try to use the uh, Blastmaster as much as I could for the Beacon, but I just found myself having a lot of situations where I'm trying to flutterfy the trigger uh, so much to, uh, so where I don't cancel out the, blood, uh, the Blastmaster's 100% uh, bonus. So where it kind of it kind of just got to the point to where I'm just like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna throw it on the minesweeper. Plus you know having the bigger mag size on the free radical 
we get more perks uh, or more uh, bang for our buck from our uh, max size perks and stuff. Like we get more bang from our buck from the iron bank. Uh, forge works a little bit better and stuff like that. Uh, I will say that our build is obviously a double uh, capstone tree or double capstone blue and green tree build. We don't have uh, anything in the bear mother tree. We have five out of five drowning in brass and experimental munitions in the, um, in the in the red tree, shield retribution tree, and then for our green tree, uh, we're we're all the way down, dude. We have some for the road forge, iron bank, every every perk except for specialist bear, daca bear, and match set. And then we have a standard demolition woman tree. I mean, standard everything everything that you would spec into a demolition woman tree for we're spec into. We are also running a transformer. Uh, that gives us 50% uh, cryo ASC, and then we're having uh, the CMT, obviously, and then we have our Pearl as well. So they both have consecutives. We, uh, we're rocking the Pearl with both setups here, so we're able to put out some relatively solid damage with both of them. Actually, I mean, we're, we're able to do put some monstrous damage with both of them, to be fair. Now, personally for me, uh, at this point in the game, I never thought that I would say this, but, you know, every, you know time goes on, power creep exists. I obviously I have to say that I like the free radical better than the beacon, dude. For so long, I liked the beacon just because it was a hard hitting Malawan pistol. It was better than the Hell Shock, and it was just it was just it was just super good, really good. I liked it for so long. However, the moment that I even picked up this free radical, I just saw its base damage and I saw its extra damage that it gets. I was just like, yeah, this thing's this thing's really hard to, dude. Thirty thousand, hundred sixty five percent weapon damage. This thing is just a it. It's just better. Like it, it's just, it's just better. It, like the numbers don't lie. I feel, it feel, it, no, no lie. The perks, the perk isn't counterintuitive with the main class one that I like to use with my, uh, with Moe's and stuff like that. Overall, for me, I just like the free radical better. It just hits harder. It performs well. I, I'm not slandering my beacon in, in any way. I am just giving my honest opinion. And honestly, I don't want to say facts or anything. But let's just really, the free radical just. Look at it, it's just better. <laughs> Other than that, though, guys, uh, that is going to just about wrap up the video, guys. Let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions down below uh, between these two weapons. Which one do you like more? If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing as we post daily content like this. And uh, yeah, we don't miss a day and all the good stuff like that. I hope y'all enjoyed, though, guys. My name's Cree, and we will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.